Good morning, grade one. Welcome again to your math lesson for this week. Let's see what we are going to cover in today's video. As you already know, we are doing chapter six, which is about count and model numbers. We are doing lesson 6.2, which is count by tens to 120. We are doing pages 337 till 342. Let's look at the lesson objective. To count by tens from any number, to extend a counting sequence up to 120. Now we did pages 337 till 339 yesterday. We are going to continue with from page 340 till page 342 today. I'm going to solve some of the important questions in this video today from page 340 till page 342. But you have to make sure that you complete all the questions in your book by yourself. If you have any queries, any problem, you can always come to the teacher and ask for the solution. Let's start from page 340 and let's look at the questions now. This is a problem solving application question. It says, use what you know about a counting chart to write the missing numbers. Let's look at the question. You see there are some missing numbers. You have to fill in with the numbers according to the number sequence. Now in the first row, you see there is 54 and 55 and there is a block empty before 54. Now which number comes before 54? Hmm, let's see. It's 53. We have 53, we have 54 and we have 55. Now in the second row, you see there is a number missing before 64. So what comes before 64? Let's see. It's 63. Now in the third row, you see they have given number 72. They want a number that comes after 72. So if you add 1 to 72, what do you get? You get 73. Now look at the three answers that we have just added to the question. Do you see something common in them? What if I say both the three numbers have 10 added to them? For example, look at 53. If you count by 10, what do we get? We get 63. And if you add 10 to 63, what do you get? You get 73. Good job! On the same page 340, let's look at question 16. This is a think smarter question. Now use a counting chart. Count by tens. Match each number on the left to a number that is 10 more. Starting from 57. Add 10 more to 57. What will you get? I think you should get 67. So you're going to draw a line from 57 and connect it to the number 67 on your right. Now, if you add 10 to 73, what do you get? You get 83. If you add 10 to 77, what should you get? You will get 87. And finally, what shall you get if you count 10 more starting from 93? You should get 103. If you already knew all the answers, good job! Now let's look at page 341. 
on question A, what does the question A say? I am after 70, I am before 90. You say me when you count by tens. What number am I? So this is a riddle that we have got. We are looking for a number that comes after 70 and it should come before 90 and you are counting by tens. So let's start with 70. What comes after 70 if you are counting by 10? You get 80. And let's add 10 more to our 80. What should I have? You get a 90. So this is a number that is after 70 but before 90. And what is that number? You can see it on the screen by now. The answer is 80. Now let's look at the homework that you should be doing. You'll be doing question 6 and question 7, which are on page 341. Grade 1. Make sure you finish all the questions on the given pages and remember to complete your homework as well. I hope you understood the topics from today's lesson. Take care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye.